We thank you for the minds to consider to continue to do the great works of this city and this community. We thank you for every mind here that will put our minds together, our hands and our hearts to touch every piece of the city of Millersville. Thank you for everyone that works so diligently to make sure that the daily operations are carried out so that our citizens miss no services. Father, I thank you as we continue to move through this pandemic that you continue to keep us, continue to guide us, continue to keep your ever-loving loves on us. Father, we thank you in Jesus' name. This is my prayer. Amen. I pledge, pledge allegiance, allegiance to, to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. <coughs> We have a special presentation tonight, and I would like to ask our finance director, Ms. Shaquita Dancy, to join the city manager at the podium for a special presentation. She may be like me when she's called by her real name. She doesn't know who she's talking about. <laughs> who is that? Henry. I think my mom hope I about to get a whipping. <laughs> I hope I pronounced it correctly. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Mayor, for allowing me the pleasure of presenting the certificate tonight uh, and at the same time recognizing our finance director. Um, every year since 1980, uh, the City of Milledgeville's Comprehensive Annual Financial Report, or the CAFR as you know it, um, has met the requirements to be awarded the Government Finance Officers Association's Certificate of Achievement for Excellence in Financial Reporting. Uh, the GFOA established this program in 1945, and uh, it is there to encourage and assist both state and local governments to go beyond the minimum requirements of generally accepted accounting principles to provide evidence for the spirit of transparency and full disclosure and to recognize individual governments that succeed in achieving uh, and surpassing that goal. Uh, so this certificate of achievement is the highest form of recognition in governmental accounting and financial reporting and I will remind you as I say that the city of Millersville has received it since 1980. Uh, obviously Miss Danzy has not been a part of our finance department since 1980 uh, but she has been a part of our finance department since what year? Since 2004. I had a line to write that down on and I forgot <laughs> to write it down so I had to ask her. Uh, and she has served as its director for the last five years when you count interim years as well as permanent years. Uh, and, and she has worked since 2004, especially in her time as director. She's worked professionally to continue to maintain the history of this level of work uh, and the professionalism that continues to have the city be awarded uh, this honor every year. Um, so for that reason and the fact that I can attest to the uh, that she does a wonderful job directing our finance department. Uh, I'm really proud tonight to be the one to present this certificate to Miss Danzy and our entire finance department. I'm gonna go ahead and tell you this. It'll probably embarrass her when I when I tell it. <laughs> but when this, the <laughs> fact that the city had received this award again was mentioned by David Irwin in his accounting uh, in his audit report a couple of weeks ago. Um, the very next morning. Shay had sent an email to every staff member in the finance department stating what David had said and stating that she had not done that, but the people of the finance department had done that and thanking them for what they had done. Uh, that's the kind of person Shay is. Mm -hmm. she, uh, she gives credit to her staff. She has a wonderful staff um, and she has to put up with me asking real stupid questions, and, uh, but she does it with a smile and, and she is so extremely helpful and so um, we appreciate what Shay does uh, and I wanted to publicly thank her, use this time to publicly thank her for her work and service to our city. There's her face. <laughs> I might mention something 
Mayor, please. Um, one thing that did not go unnoticed by me was that the audit was 100% free of any changes or anything. And, you know, it's, that's rare to me. We usually have a little something, or maybe they want us to do something a little different, or because the government decided something different, we're going to have to do something different, mm -hmm. or whatever. And I, I, uh, I thought that was excellent. Getting getting this award is certainly that, but that that is, that's like an A plus, mm -hmm. four point oh oh. That's right. <laughs> and we have the um, we have the sticker to go on our certificate outside. For the year, you know, they used to send us a new plaque every year. Now they just send us a sticker. Send a sticker. <laughs> and a sticker for it. That's all right. Good job. Good job. I thought it was only appropriate for Mr. Griffin to to make that uh, presentation tonight. But Miss Shea, you know, from all of us sitting right here, we thoroughly appreciate everything that you do to keep the city of Millersville finances, to keep the city of Millersville uh, operations running afloat, and. Uh, Hopefully keeping our credit good <laughs> is what you're doing for us. So thank you so much for that. All right, you all have received a copy of the March 8th, 2022 council meeting minutes. Are there any corrections? Is there a motion to adopt the minutes as official? So moved. Second. Second. Is there any discussion? <coughs> Mr. News, please call the roll. Ms. Walden. Aye. Mr. Chambers? Aye. Mr. Mullins? Aye. Dr. Lee? Aye. Mr. Reynolds? Aye. Okay. The motion carries and the minutes are adopted as official. We move, we'll move on to the old business and I will ask the clerk to read ordinance O-2203-03 by caption. An ordinance to amend the City of Milledgeville personnel policies and procedures to revise the travel policy provisions to set their per diem for meals and incidentals to follow the General Services Administration of the federal government. This is the second reading of the ordinance to amend the per diem portion of the personnel policies and procedures. Is there a motion to adopt? Motion to adopt. Second. Is there any discussion? <coughs> I'll ask the clerk to please call the roll. Ms. Walden? Aye. Mr. Chambers? Aye. Mr. Mullins? Aye. Dr. Lee? Aye. Mr. Reynolds? Aye. Okay, the motion carries and the ordinance is, is, it a, is adopted as official. We'll move to new business, and I will ask the clerk to read Ordinance O-2203-04 by caption. An ordinance amending the ordinance passed and adopted on the 10th day of December 2002, known as the Land Development Code of the City of Millersville, Georgia. The ordinance rezones property located at 1340 Carriker Lane, from SFR2 to MR2. This is the first reading of this ordinance and I'm asking and I'm assigning the ordinance to the Planning and Zoning Commission. I will ask the clerk to read resolution R2203-10 by caption. A resolution authorizing an agreement with Cornerstone H2O LLC to rebuild two primary clarifiers at the Milledgeville Wastewater Treatment Plant. You have heard the resolution. Is there a motion to adopt? I'll move. Second. Is there any discussion? Clerk, please call the roll. Ms. Walden? Aye. Mr. Chambers? Aye. Mr. Mullins? Aye. Dr. Lee? Aye. Mr. Reynolds? Aye. The motion carries and the resolution is adopted as official. I will ask the clerk to please read resolution R-2203-11. About caption, please. 
A resolution authorized a lighting services agreement with Georgia Power Company to install five additional LED street lights on Mayfair Court and to convert the existing street light lighting on Mayfair Court to LED fixtures. You have heard the resolution. Is there a motion to adopt? No, we approve. Second. Is there any discussion? I'll ask the clerk to please call the roll. Ms. Walden? Aye. <coughs> Chambers? Aye. Mr. Mullins? Aye. Dr. Lee? Aye. Mr. Reynolds? Aye. The resolution is adopted. The final item on the agenda is to consider a new alcohol license application that I will ask the clerk to present at this time. This is um, an alcohol license application for Chelsea J. Foster uh, on behalf of C. Foster's Enterprises, doing business as Foster's Meat, located at 101 MLK Junior Drive, and it's for beer, for beer license retail package to go. Is there a motion to approve this application? So moved. Second. Is there any discussion? I'll ask the clerk to please call the roll. Ms. Walden? Aye. Mr. Chambers? Aye. Mr. Mullins? Aye. Dr. Lee? Aye. And Mr. Reynolds? Aye. The alcohol license is approved. Um, this concludes the items on the agenda. Are there any comments or announcements from the council? Okay, I ask that you all continue to keep Miss Denise lifted up, that she continue to move swiftly through her surgery, continue to keep Miss Walden and her family lifted up as uh, they have, she buried her uncle about a week ago. And anybody else that you can think about that uh, uh, we need to keep in our prayers, we need to keep everybody in our prayers every day, but uh, make sure we do that. Is there a motion to adjourn? I was waiting on Mr. Chambers. He normally catch me at the end. <laughs> <laughs> Duh, Talked out tonight. today. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> Is there a motion? Uh, I need a motion to adjourn. <laughs> <No>. Second. <laughs> the meeting is adjourned. <laughs>